it's David and Brian from VM Blog, and we're here in San Diego. And we're covering the KubeCon uh, Cloud Native 2019 conference, and here's some of the highlights from the show. We're here at KubeCon 2019 in San Diego, and we're visiting with Morpheus. Um, we recently saw you at VMworld. Um, can you maybe tell us a little bit about the company and how you're working with Kubernetes? Yeah, sure. So, um, so we primarily are helping you know, very large enterprises get out of their own way and do automation in a, in a more simplified way. And when we, when we think about where enterprises are going, they have a lot of traditional workloads that have been sitting on VMware. At the same time, they've got new applications, are trying to move into microservices, and are starting to look at Kubernetes. So we see these two worlds starting to converge. Um, and so at the show here, we're talking to a lot of customers who are wrestling with how do they provide governance, policies, security, as well as automation and self-service around multi-cloud and multi-platform environments. So uh, it's been a good show for us so far. And so from a technical standpoint, how do you work with Kubernetes? You know, how do you, uh, what problems do you solve? Sure, so one of the things we announced uh, earlier this year actually was our own Morpheus managed Kubernetes service. So we have a CNCF certified Kubernetes service and a cluster engine inside our product to help companies stand up and maintain those clusters. They can also though swap out their own sidecars, their own services and develop their own flavor of Kubernetes, but still use Morpheus to deploy and manage those clusters. They can also use Morpheus to stand up and access public cloud Kubernetes services like EKS and AKS. So we're helping to manage the underlying platform as well as provide the automation on top to very rapidly deploy applications into those clusters. And uh, lastly, is there a demo that we could probably take a look at? Yeah, I'd love to. I've got actually our, our lead technical architect, uh, representative for the CNCF, Adam Hicks. Uh, we can take you through a little show and tell. Great. Uh, so today I'm going to give you a little bit of a sneak peek into the Morpheus Kubernetes as a service management utilities. Great. All right. So with Morph Morpheus Kubernetes as a service, we really sought to help people with three main pillars, and that is provisioning the Kubernetes cluster, deploying applications to the Kubernetes cluster, and then operating applications and the cluster itself. Uh, in our infrastructure section, we now have a new cluster area. Uh, when I go and I hit the Add Cluster button, it pops up a couple of different options. Uh, specific to Kubernetes, we do support cloud-native ones, EKS, AKS is coming in December, and GKE right around the corner. We also have our Kubernetes cluster that you can deploy into your groups as well as any target cloud. Uh, this lets me go build a Morpheus cloud native computing foundation compliant architecture, or I can build my own architectures. And specifying something like VMware takes me to the next page, and I can see the Morpheus supplied architectures here. Uh, we do make a selection for you on the CNI as well as the storage driver, but then it's just provisioning a virtual machine or a virtualized environment. I pick my resource plans, I pick my storage layouts, uh, where it's going, which resource pool, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But one of the unique things that Morpheus allows you to do, because we are touching all of the infrastructure elements in your data center, is even automatically provision variable IPs or VIPs into your load balancers, as well as create backup jobs, specify your pod cider, et cetera. Some of the other unique things that we can do oh, right, is tie into, say, an IPAM utility, a DNS utility, and then optionally run custom workflows, which can be extremely robust. And these may interact, say, with ITSM tooling for change management, firewalls, a whole host of things that you can do completely on your own. I'm not going to provision one today, because we already have several that I'll, uh, I'll use to showcase. But the second pillar is really 
around deploying the applications. And to that end, we have a couple of different blueprint technologies that we support. When it comes to Kubernetes, we do support Kubernetes spec files as well as Helm charts. And soon to come is Morpheus blueprinting uh, around those primitives as well. So if I pick something like Kubernetes and go to the next page, this allows me to link to individual spec elements and join them together, build a topology out of them, or a more monolithic base spec I can drop in here. And we can even link this up into your SEM, your Git repo. You can deploy from there. There is a REST API around Morpheus. So once this has been declared, Morpheus becomes your user interface for your pipelines, for deployment, for anything else. Pillar three is really operating the cluster. So once you've got the cluster built, you want to know what's out there. You want to be able to scale it with ease. That is all extremely feasible inside of Morpheus. I can take actions, add new workers, view the configs and the tokens. I get monitoring across the cluster. I can also manage namespaces. And now Morpheus can be your RBAC orchestrator itself. You can create your namespaces here and define which groups, which user roles have access into those individualized namespaces. Because this is virtual infrastructure, Morpheus is extremely strong in giving you a management plane for your VMs. Uh, services as well, those get registered with Morpheus. And you'll notice that across all of our utilities that we synchronize in, in a Kubernetes cluster, we allow you to export the, the spec definition and the metadata to maintain that state external to uh, Morpheus if you like. You can also inventory all of your containers, stable sets, deployments, and pods at various different scopes. You can run jobs, so I could construct individual jobs for specific actions, installing sidecars, laying in a service mesh if I need one. You can manage your volume claims. You can see I don't have any here, but this may be deletion or uh, disconnecting them. I do get log aggregation as well. Great operational portal here. And I even have a history, so I have provenance. Who's done what inside my cluster, when and why, including standard out and standard error. Operational manifests, my wiki, and I even get visibility into my data stores. So it's an extremely robust operational portal for your Kubernetes clusters. And where can people go if they want to find out more information about Morpheus? Yeah, so our website's a great way to start, uh, morpheusdata.com.